And we are back with our world lead in a CNN exclusive. You heard President Biden's promise during his CNN town hall. The United States, he said, will defend Taiwan if it is attacked by China. The White House later walked back those remarks. But now Taiwan's president tells CNN she is confident the U.S. would step up if Beijing tried to make a move on the Democratic island. Those comments coming from the president's first international TV interview in nearly two years, where she also tells our Will Ripley the threat from China is increasing every single day. At this temple in Taipei, prayer and politics go hand in hand for Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen. Normally when I um, go to the temple, there are hundreds of people there, but I will shake hands with each one of them. People are remarkably happy, at ease. You have to give them a sense that there's somebody there to take care of them. Elected in 2016, Tsai won re-election by a landslide last year on a promise to keep people safe from what she calls a growing threat across the Taiwan Strait. Is Taiwan more safe today than it was when you became president in 2016? If it's a threat from China, it's increasing every day. The mainland's massive military, two million strong, more powerful than ever, China flew 150 warplanes near Taiwan in just five days this month. This democracy of more than 23 million governed separately from the mainland for more than 70 years since the end of China's civil war, still seen as a breakaway province in the eyes of Beijing's communist rulers who have never controlled the island. China has pressured most of the world to sever formal diplomatic ties with Taipei. Chinese President Xi Jinping says Reunification is only a matter of time. Are you interested in speaking with President Xi? Would you like to have more communication with him? Well, more communication would be helpful so that we would uh, reduce misunderstanding, given our differences, uh, differences in terms of our political systems. Um, we can sit down and talk about our differences and try to make arrangement um, so that we would be able to coexist peacefully. Your predecessor, as you know, did meet with President Xi. Uh, why do you think that things, the communication has really gone south since 2016? Well, I think the situation has changed a lot and, and China's plan uh, towards the region is very different. That plan includes war threats over Taiwan, clashes with Japan and the East China Sea, and militarizing man-made islands in the South China Sea, posing a direct challenge to seven decades of U.S. military supremacy in the Indo-Pacific. In response, the U.S. ramped up arms sales to Taiwan, selling the island $5 billion in weapons last year. President Tsai confirms exclusively to CNN U.S. support goes beyond selling weapons. Does that support include sending some U.S service members to help train Taiwanese troops? Well, yes. Um, uh, we have uh, a wide range of cooperation with the U.S. Uh, uh, aiming at uh, uh, increasing our defense capability. How many U.S. service members are deployed in Taiwan right now? Um, not as many as uh, uh, people thought. Defense Department records show the number of U.S. troops in Taiwan increased from 10 in 2018 to 32 earlier this year. The State Department asked for more Marines to safeguard the unofficial U.S. Embassy in Taipei. Any U.S. military presence in Taiwan, big or small, is perceived by Beijing as an act of aggression, state media says. When reports surfaced earlier this month of U.S. Marines training Taiwanese troops, China released this video, a training exercise targeting Taiwan independence and interference by external forces like the U.S. A warning for President Joe Biden, who vowed to defend Taiwan at this CNN town hall last week. So are you That's saying right. that, that the United States would come to Taiwan's defense if yes, China we, attacked? Yes, we have a commitment to do that. The White House later walked back Biden's comments. They seemed to contradict the longstanding U.S. policy of strategic ambiguity, leaving U.S. military involvement in Taiwan an open question. People have different interpretation of what uh, President Biden has said. Do you have faith that the United States would defend Taiwan if the mainland were to try to move on Taiwan? 
I do have faith, and uh, given the long-term relationship that we have the U.S. and also the support of the people of the U.S. as well as the Congress, and the administration has been very helpful. Taiwan's defense minister says China could launch a full-scale war by 2025. He says military tensions are the worst in more than 40 years. We have to expedite our military reform so that we have uh, a, the ability to defend ourselves. And uh, given the size of Taiwan compared to the size of, uh, of the PRC, um, developing asymmetric capability is the key for us. How prepared is Taiwan today? We are trying to make us uh, stronger in every aspect, uh, and it includes our military capability and our international support. Support bolstered, she says, by Taiwan's critical importance to the global supply chain. The island is a world leader in semiconductors. Taiwan was Asia's fastest growing economy last year, a fact President Tsai proudly points out over lunch. This is one of my favorite food. All right. Despite everything, she appears calm and confident. You talked about how really the situation is so complex now. Yeah, it is very complex. This is probably the cha most challenging time for people of Taiwan. You, you read the outside headlines, the most dangerous place on earth. We read these um, reports as a reminder to us as to what sort of the threats that we're under, and uh, we have to get ourselves better uh, prepared. But we're not panicked, we're not anxious, uh, because oh, we have gone through so many uh, difficulties uh, in the past. She says Taiwan's future must be decided by its people, the people who've worked hard over the last 70 years to build the world's only Chinese-speaking democracy, a democracy under growing threat. This is the first time in more than 40 years that a Taiwanese president has publicly confirmed U.S. troops are here on the island training Taiwanese troops. And it comes at a time that the U.S. is calling for a more meaningful role for Taiwan at the United Nations, much to the ire of Beijing, which just yesterday said it is not ruling out the use of force to reunify with this island at any cost. Jake. CNN's Will Ripley with that exclusive interview. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.